are all for sale. Except those uh, four scrubby ones. And uh, who do they belong to? The heirs of the late Frank Ross. I'm Maddie Ross. And I'd like to sell you back those ponies that my father bought. Well, I fear that is out of the question. My father bought those ponies for breeding. Now, I've looked at them and they're all geldings. You cannot breed geldings. Well, that hardly concerns me. Your father bought four ponies and paid $100 for them, and there's an end of it. I want $300 for Papa's saddle horse that was stolen from your barn. You'll have to take that up with the man who stole it. Tom Cheney stole it while it was in your care. You are responsible. <laughs> I admire your sand, but I'm not liable. I will take it to the law. Well, you must do as you think best. We will see if a widow and three small children can get fair treatment in the courts of this city. You have no case. Lawyer J. Noble Daggett of Dardanelle in Yale County may think otherwise. You are impudent. I do not wish to be, sir, but I will not be pushed about when I'm in the right. I'll take it up with my attorney. And I will take it up with mine, Lawyer Dagnett. And he will make money, and I will make money, and your lawyer will make money. And you, Mr. Lykson's auctioneer, you will fit the bill. You are a damn nuisance. Lawyer Daggett, Lawyer Daggett. Who is this famous pleader whose name I was happily ignorant of ten minutes ago? Have you ever heard of the great Arkansas River, Vicksburg and Gulf and Steamship Company? I have done business with the GAV and G, yes. Well, he was the one that forced them into receivership. Oh. They tried to mess with him. All right, come inside. I will pay a total of $200 to your father's estate when I have in my hand a letter absolving me of all liability from the beginning of the world to date. I want $200 for Papa's horse, Judy, plus another $100 for the ponies. That's $300 total. The ponies have no part in this. I will not buy them back. Then I'll keep the ponies, and the price for Judy alone will be $300. $300. I wouldn't pay that for Wing Pegasus. Now listen very carefully, as I will not bargain further. I will take the ponies back and keep your father's saddle and settle for $200. My lawyer would not wish me to consider anything under $300. Now for that, you get everything except the saddle. I would like to have that in writing, for what it is worth. When I have it in my hand, I'll remit the extortion money. Now, this is your release. You'll find it in order. You had that already written out. I'll give you a check. I prefer cash. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a buyer for those ponies very soon. I have a tentative offer of $10 a head from the soap works at Little Rock. Oh, it seems such a shame to render such spirited horse flesh into soap. I'm confident the deal will fall through. Well, you can expect me back from my saddle. I'm sure I can. Do you know Marshal Rooster Cogburn? Most people around here have heard of Rooster Cogburn, and some people live to regret it. I would not be surprised to learn that he's a relative of yours. 